So Carl, firstly, congratulations. You signed a new deal at Bolton Wanderers. Just talk us through how you're feeling right about now. No, I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, it was a conversation that I had with the gaffer in the end of season meetings and he just um, just said about how well I've done this year and just wanted to sort of give me a little something um, on the top of that and to, to offer me a, a new deal was was absolutely great. Um, I think it's one of them for me. I had a frustrating start at Bolton, um, constantly picking up little injuries and setbacks. And then after probably December, I, I was able to show sort of the real me and um, the player that obviously I knew that uh, was in there. And for the fans to obviously see and now uh, to be able to extend my stay here um, is absolutely massive for me. And I take, take it, it was a, quite an easy decision for you when that conversation happened with the gaffer to extend your say because you seem to be really enjoying yourself in the Bolton shirt. Yeah, 100%. Um, I didn't have anything else in my mind. Um, it, it's, it's a project at, at this club where the way we're moving forward as a team, the way the coaching staff are on a day-to-day -day basis, everybody around the club um, and even the fans as well to me have been absolutely massive. So for, for me, yeah, it wasn't... It was an hard decision. As soon as they said that, just a bit of negotiate and then signed it straight away. You touched on it a little bit there, but there does seem to seem a real togetherness in that dressing room, and I'm guessing that was a vital part in, in factoring your reasoning to wanting to stay. Yeah, hundred percent. I think we all have that goal of um, wanting to get promoted. Uh, last year we just fell that little bit short, so this year we're we're back in now, and that's the full concentration, and that's our drive is to to get this club back to where we know it should be. And when you signed, you said you wanted to show Bolton fans and express yourself and show them what you can do on the ball. And in that last few months of the season, I think you kind of felt you were kind of doing that. Yeah, 100%. I think probably at the start of my time here, I was putting too much pressure on myself. Mm -hmm. I probably didn't realise how big of a club it actually was. And I just wanted to show everybody what I could do. Um, and I knew I was underperforming and then I'd get another game and then I was underperforming and I was just putting so much pressure on myself. And then I just stripped back to basics and said, you're a good player, you've got to where you are uh, because of your talent. And I just relaxed, took the weight off my shoulders and yeah, I was able to play how I know I can for the probably the last remaining five months of the season. And the, in, the, in the time that you've been here, um, the, the upward curve the club has been taking, you must be really excited that you can continue to be part of that journey. Yeah, 100, that, that's, that's exactly the reason why I wanted to sign and the reason why I didn't have any doubt of signing is because of where this club's actually going, um, the journey that it's going on and just everything about it um, that I love. I touched on it before, the coaching staff, I think, Obviously, I've got to 27 year old now, and I'm still finding things that they're showing me on a day to day basis, which is improving my game. And it's obviously rare that you get that. And like I said, I'm just looking forward to keeping on working here and, and getting this club to where I know it should be. And the way in which the season ended last season, falling short in the playoffs, there must be a hunger and a desire to try and get straight back in and, and try and go one step further next year. Yeah, I, I said that straight away. I think it was, it's obviously a massive disappointment. Um, we wanted to give the fans that special send-off of getting that promotion but it, it didn't happen for us but you can't dwell on it I think it does give you that hunger we, we know how it feels to be up there all year but it, I think for us and I can say this as well is we probably don't want to be that top six we want to be in that top two and achieve them automatics this year and the fans you touched on them there they were magnificent that night at Barnsley when we finished up and you and them, in the last few months, you've kind of gained that relationship. You're, I'm guessing you want to continue that and keep playing in front of them. Yeah, 100%. I think it's a goosebump moment when you get knocked out of the playoffs and every single fan is off the seat and obviously chanting your name and chanting for the club. Um, there was no disappointment there from them and it just shows the backing that they've got of us as a team and now it's on us to go and deliver this year.